Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with my first uh, set of cards for the nonprofit caregiver giveaway. I'm doing a hundred cards for um, my nonprofit organization, Betty Harris Landix Cancer Awareness Center. We are doing cards for our first responders, and so we're providing chemo. Um, I'm sorry, care kits. It's the same as the chemo care kits, but these are just the care kits for our um, first responders. And my first card that I'm doing is the sheet load of cards by Call Me Crafty Al. So what I'm doing is I picked uh, Call Me Crafty Al because she already have a layout and everything and I don't have to kind of reinvent anything so I'm using her card sketch from January of 2021 through October of 2021 which will yield me 92 cards on the um, the I mean 90 yeah 92 cards and I'm also using last year's June which will yield me eight more cards which will make the hundred that I need so um, this is the process that I'm going through I actually uh, when you get her you go on her YouTube channel if you subscribe to her channel then you can download this printable the principal has the sketch the supplies how many cards you'll need dimensions and everything and you don't have to stick with what she's doing but it would be wise to kind of do what she's doing first and then change it to an alternate. So if instead of making a, a two size card, make a five by seven or a slim line based on her um, image. Then on the back, she has what you need to cut and how you need to cut it. So if you've never seen her, go check her out. It's Call Me Crafty Al um, on YouTube and check her out and I think that you will love it. So first things first is we're going to go to our supply list. We need three pattern papers. We need six eight by 10 solid color ones and we need five eight by 10 solid. The five eight by 10 solid color is what you're gonna use to make the card base if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. I'm using my vlogging camera so everything is blurry. I have to do my own manual adjustments. So yeah, y'all know how I am about that. You know on this computer thing, they don't it don't like me that much. Okay, so what I am doing, I'm using regular card bases for this portion, and then I'm using uh, card stock for this and pattern paper for this. So we're doing a I'm using my Heartfelt Creations pattern paper, so it's gonna be a, a sheet load combined with Heartfelt um, paper selection right now. So I'm gonna use as much as the, as the pattern paper will allow me to do with um, uh, Heartfelt Creations. And I'm doing Christmas. Because it's so close to Christmas, these cards will be going out and a Christmas series <clears throat> excuse me so first things first we need to pick our paper so I actually already picked the paper that I'm gonna use and um, it's from the candy cane candy cane collection the candy cane cottage collection and this is not really if you look at it you won't think Christmas not this sheet but then this sheet you really won't think Christmas either the one that you'll think Christmas is the candy canes. So you'll think Christmas when you see that. So I really am debating on not using this one so then it won't just be tied to the Christmas. My problem is the papers are so beautiful I never want to cut in any of them. So let's go look at the actual candy cane paper pad. This is the paper pad. And let's see if we can find one that's not Christmassy. Um, that we can use even if I use the back of that um, this one mm, it's not really Christmassy so maybe we'll switch up 
this and I'll use this one instead just so I'm not using Christmas paper so then it won't have to be tied to it okay so yesterday I went to Marco paper and I purchased a bunch of his card stuff he had it here at the show and it was two for ten dollars per pack and so I can really choose what kind of color I want I'm to use for this and I'm really thinking that I might choose my color to be green but there's so much red in everything each one of these has a lot of red in it and I did not buy any red paper I didn't buy any red paper um, so the closest to red I have is this one but this one is not gonna do it too dark let's see I did bring this pack of 12 by 12s that I might be able to get away with using but guess what I don't have any enough red Let's see. I did bring with me because I'm still at. Well, um, once you see this video, you'll know that I'm still at the uh, Mega Meat. Uh, I did bring some other papers, my Stepping Up stash, but I only have four sheets of. Of this dark green that might work I only have four sheets of this and I need six and I started to buy the red yesterday but it was regular price and I didn't buy it so it looked like I might have to go buy that red paper from Marco paper just so I can have the red color that I need for this that's the reason why I like buying paper from Stampin' Up because it's all one color <clears throat> okay y'all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and go buy the paper and so when I come back I'll have the red paper that I need and I'm going to take this sheet with me so that I can I'm gonna take this red because these two reds kind of match pretty close because this is the same paper pad so I'm going to take this with me to make sure that I match up that red okay so It'll be a blink of an edit for y'all, but it's probably gonna be about 30 minutes for me because I gotta walk over there, go find them, go get it, and blah, 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 all that stuff, okay? So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, everybody, I told it was gonna be a blink in an eye for you, but it's been an hour later for me because of course I went over there and bought stuff. So, I went over and I guess I can show you what I bought. I bought the paper that matches this set, so this is what we're going to do. But as I went over there, I stopped at Northwood Rubber Stamps and I bought this set of stamps. I bought this set of stamps because y'all know how I feel about my flowers. Give people flowers while they live, please. And then I got cut up and I ended up buying the glitter kit to go with um, to, to do the glitter section on this so maybe we'll do a section a segment on these stamps and I found something new y'all this little thing here so you know how normally when we're glittering stuff we dump out well this is a little scooper that you you see that but this is a little scooper that we you can just dig in your glitter and dumping on there as opposed to dumping out all your glitter super convenient when you're doing just small little spots so I'm probably going to buy another one of these because I have a small tendency to have everything in different places and so I need one in my travel bag and one at home so but that's what this is it's you dip in your jar so you don't have to dump out all your glitter so wonderful I learn something new every time I come here some new product okay so let's get to 
Oops. Trying to put this back. Y'all know I have to put everything back. Okay, now what I'm doing is we're going to get pick out our six sheets of solid cardstock for this. As soon as I get it open. <laughs> now I kind of wish I would use that light blue. Because look at this light blue. Don't. I don't. Oh, I do. I love that light blue. Okay, you know what? We're not going to use this red. We're going to use this light blue. That was a waste of $10. <laughs> it's not a waste. It's never a waste because you never have too much paper. Because I'm doing 100 cards, so it's okay. But that light blue just caught my eye, and voila. Okay, so let's, oh, paper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're using six sheets of this. This paper is very thick. What is the weight of this? This is, Oh, 105 pound paper. Wow. 105 pound paper. That's some good weight. <laughs> That's some good weight, y'all. This is good. And look at this. It's reversible. It's purple on one side and blue on the other side. And I got this pack of paper for, for $5 for 20 sheets. I love it. Okay, so. I have all my paper now because of course I told you I'm using card bases so I have my crafters companion card bases let me get them in this bag here <clears throat> okay so we need how many cards are we making we're making nine cards we're making nine cards so let's get out nine card bases. And they're just A2 size. So it's just plain A2 size card bases. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is our supplies we need for this project so far nine card bases six sheets of plain paper and three sheets of pattern paper so now what we're going to do is we're going to this is the what we're doing and we're going to and this is the design we're making image or sentiment so this is the image and or sentiment that you can put right here so we're going to have to make sure that we leave that space and for the purpose of the video i'm only going to do one card because it's just repetitiveness so i'll cut out all the pieces but we're only going to do one one card for each video okay so let's see let's check it out and this kind of helps you when you're doing your designs to see that if these this type of stuff really works because people be like oh i'm gonna make this and then it doesn't work so we're really making sure that this works because she does lovely cards okay so one first card number one is this is cs1 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 what is cs1 it's a solid card base and we need one cs1 and five cs2 so one of the solid card stock is this plain one so we need a white sheet of paper so that makes the sentiment that white sheet of paper makes the sentiment okay so i only need five of those and not six okay and it tells me that you need one for the cs1 um i don't know what cs1 start stands for but you only need one and then you need five of the other ones. Okay. Okay, so for CS1, cut into nine by two, by two and a half pieces. What? Cut into nine. 
two inch by two and a half inch pieces. Three, six, nine. So we're gonna get the trimmer. Where's my paper trimmer? Hold on one minute. Sorry about that. Somebody just came up to talk to us. This is so much fun being in this atmosphere. Y'all, y'all would love it. Okay, so now we're gonna cut nine two by two and a quarter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little thing here and we're going to cut two inch strips. Let's see, I'm trying to show the guide at the same time. So we're gonna cut two inch strips and we're doing nine of them because we're doing nine cards. So that's one. One, two, That's two, three. Okay, so now we're gonna cut these by two and a quarter. Okay, so the one thing, that, I mean, I'm sorry, two and a half. The one thing I like about these is you can really see, you can really see the marking. So that's two and a half. So that's three. Six. And that's nine. Didn't get that last page. Let's cut that last page better. There we go. Okay. So that's that's our nine of those. And so I'm going to pause it right here, cut out the rest of my pieces, and I'll be back to assemble. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out. You can see them all around this area where I have them cut out. And um, now all it is is really just assemble, assembling the card itself. Um, and I, for my image, because as you can see, you needed some type of image here. I used the stamp set that Connie Stewart created um, from Stampin' Up, and it's nothing better than the stamp set. And I used you, you're just like chocolate. You make everything better. You're just like chocolate you make everything better. That's what the sentiment is gonna be, okay? So let's put this card together. I just used a regular card base, like I told you, remember? And then all it is is really matting and layering. The biggest part is making sure that you cut out your pieces right so you don't mess up paper. Like I did, I, I messed up a sheet of paper. Y'all know I don't be paying attention sometimes. And I messed up one sheet, but that's okay. So. First things first, these two pieces mat one each other. And you can use either one of them to do your mat layer. So I'm going to use the, do I wanna use this one? No, I wanna use this one first to mat. So every piece will be matted with this piece. Then, okay, every, every card no, every card won't 
because they're all different sheets. Let's see how it work out. This card is gonna be matted with this piece of paper. So let me get my tape. I'm just using this uh, stamping up one right now. Y'all you know, know I go back and forth with everything. So we're gonna use this one. Ooh. Okay. And the way this is layered is it's pushed all the way to one side and centered on the top and bottom. Okay, so it's pushed to one side, centered on top and bottom. So that's that back layer. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're going to take a different piece and mat and layer this. Okay, my, my cutting. I, I used the all-in-one um, cutter the we are memory keepers all in one and I did notice that this paper is pretty thick and so you have to make sure that you use only cut one sheet because if not you're gonna have that little edge like I did okay so then now we're gonna take this sheet and we're gonna mat and layer this one up Literally, once you cut stuff out, after you get it cut out, it's all matte layer from there, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the first sheet. We're going to put it on one end and do it like that, okay? So now you have the two pieces. The next piece is this, did I do that? This piece. The next piece is the piece that goes up and down. This piece has the square layer, which now will be the third color. Okay, so we're gonna put this down here. And we're leaving space on the side, but we're taking it all the way to the bottom. Okay, this is funny, y'all. My watch is stuck to this <laughs> magnetic thing. I have on my Apple Watch, and this thing keeps <laughs> magneting itself to that. And then you're gonna take whatever your image is, and this is where that stamp set came into play. So what I did was I stamped, you're just like chocolate, you make everything better. And so that is my sentiment. Isn't that cute? Look. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it down so maybe you can see it better. Okay, this is not, <laughs> not like my regular camera setup. My regular camera setup, I wouldn't have to adjust mm -hmm. nothing. There we go. And that's two-step stamping, and that is stamping up. Two-step stamping. Uh, two-step stamping, nothing better than. Okay? Okay, so let me unblurry my background. I keep on taking y'all down and unblurry it. Because I don't have it on autofocus on this camera because if I put autofocus on here, then um, it'll have that little red box because this camera was not made for this type of thing. And so now we're just going to take this and we're going to glue that right like, like that. And I already see one thing that I should not, I should have done a little different but it's okay, I can fix that. Okay, so then all I'm gonna do is butt this up against this one and lay that down like that. So there we go. And then we had this piece, this piece. Well, this piece needed to be flagged. And so if you see that, I flagged that piece. And the way you flag your piece is you cut it straight down the middle, then cut each end to that middle and that creates your flag. And then this piece, it's going to be laid down right here. And what I was saying, what I seen that I did was, my sentiment should have been a little bit higher so it could cover up more of the white, but it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue right or tape right on there and I'm going to position this all the way to the edge no I'm not it's supposed to stop right there it's supposed to look like it's a continuous piece and so 
I'm just going to match that up right there and lay it down. And there we go. So that piece is created. So let's get this all on the card base. So we got our card base. This is the first piece that we put on. And remember, she always tells you that you can change stuff up, do something new. You don't have to follow her exactly. These are just for inspiration, okay? And so, always make sure that your card base is correct. And then, make sure you have the same amount at the top of the bottom as, as best you can. So I'm laying that this way. Then I'm gonna take this piece And I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna go in the middle of these two, not the middle of the card base, but in the middle of those two. And I'm gonna put it all the way to the edge and lay that piece down. So now this is what you have. Then you take this piece that you created and you're gonna lay that right down like that. You can do it however you want to. You can do it closer to this way, you can close it to this way, however you want. What I'm gonna do is, because there's this piece here, it's, it's on top of one, two, three, four layers, I'm gonna get some pop dots and pop up the bottom so then it's not just floating. So, let's see. Stamping up pop dots are much flatter than most. And so those are the ones I'm gonna use. And so I'm just gonna put some pop dots right across the bottom, right across the top, like that. And then I'll use my tape runner in the middle. Okay, let's take these off. Yeah. Take these off. And y'all know I always like to take some tape and run over my tape. Even, cause I don't know how long I've had them and how long they've been sitting. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just position it right here. And you see how that's standing up perfectly? And that is our card. Isn't it cute? We love this. You know what I wish I've done? I wish I would have done was emboss my flag. It would have been nice to emboss that flag. I might do that, I don't know. But it might be nice to just give it some texture. There's a lot of texture going on, but I think that would have been nice. So that is our card. So this is Sheet Load of Cards, July 2021. And I'll be making nine, eight more of these for our nonprofit. Go over to Crafty Owls and for January and pick up this uh, sketch so you can make this card. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.